our next discussion is diagonal canonical form and it is the most important form for the in the, in the terms of you can say uh, modern control system because this type the uh, diagonal canonical form and the joint canonical form are the form where uh, this type of the form can be used in the uh, various places of the modern control system in order to find the you know uh, controllability or observability right uh, the at uh, the gilbert test for the gilbert test this type of the form is required right diagonal canonical form first we have to convert whatever the transfer function or whatever the state is represented into the uh, diagonal canonical form right so why we am saying the diagonal canonical form is important anyone can tell me what is the specific what is the specificity of the diagonal canonical form sir us mein diagonal elements pe hamare oh, eigen values hon yes very good this canonical form very good now we have started with the you know diagonal diagonal canonical excuse me sir yes sir please share the screen in group 2 Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think it is right. Okay, diagonal canonical form. So in the diagonal canonical form, this canonical form, simple, this canonical form of the state model of the state model is obtained using the partial fraction remember using the partial fraction so ye easy bhi hai that's why it is easier right so first first we have to do we have to take the partial fraction of whatever the transfer function is given right okay and also one more thing is important here provided that provided that the eigen value should be the the eigen value of that transfer function are distinct remember are distinct so what will be do when the roots are not distinct then you have to use the jordan canonical form right so diagonal canonical form and jordan canonical form both are the same the difference is there only when all the roots are distinct then the form was the form will be the diagonal canonical form and when the roots are repeated then you can see the form which will become that is the jordan canonical form so we will discuss so let's we have uh, the consider we have the three or the third order of the transfer function as usual we have discussed in the previous so y s upon r s equals to b two s square plus b one s plus b not okay and you can say s q plus a two s square plus a one s plus a not right so your distinct uh, eigen values are let the three eigen value three eigen values be distinct right maine pehle bataya it should be distinct so there are three roots will be there because it's a third order system okay and let us consider and considering the root r let's say s1 s is equals to minus lambda 1 s is equals to minus lambda 2 and let us consider s is equals to minus of lambda 3 any problem up to this point हमने क्या किया केवल रूट को डिस्टिंग का और डिस्टिंग अगर होगा तो लेट्स कंसीडर कि थ्री रूट्स आर देयर है ना अगर ये थर्ड ऑटो सिस्टम है तो सो वी कैन राइट वाई एस अपॉन आर एस वाई एस अपॉन आर एस ओके इन द फॉर्म ऑफ के वन प्लीज सी एस वन एस अपॉन लैमडा वन के टू एस प्लस लैमडा टू एंड के थ्री S plus lambda. Three. Can we write like this of this equation? What we have we have done? We have write this equation using the. Please tell me, partial partial fraction. Partial fraction. Okay. So now this y s becomes, if I am not wrong, 
then you can write this equation y is equals to k1 upon s plus lambda 1 into rs okay and then sir ek bar aap jaake wahan mil lo dean academy dean ek oh jo hai na dean rl se wahan jaake mil lo ek bar main class mein wo kuch nahi karna wo na wo bata rahe hain ki jo aapka file aaya na usme उनको डाउट है कि वो वो कन्वर्जन वाला नहीं है मर्ज जो हमने किया था कंज्यूमर और उसको है ना उसको बस उसको बताना है हमने लिख के दिया ठीक है तो k1 अपॉन s प्लस लैम्डा 1 k2 अपॉन s प्लस लैम्डा 2 k3 अपॉन s प्लस लैम्डा rs 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 ओके वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस यस ऑनो ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन योर रिप्रेजेंटेशन विल बी दिस इज rs एंड दिस इज सिंपल ys सो your first term it is very easy to represent you know 1 upon s plus lambda 1 into you can write k1 and then you are going to add with some summer second one is you know k2 upon s plus lambda 2 sorry 1 upon kya ho jayega beta please tell me s plus lambda yes 1 upon s plus lambda 2 into k2 k2 and then and then 1 upon s plus lambda 3 k3 okay and then you are going to add all right so this is the rs this is the ys so now please tell me let us consider we have the term x1s or x1s ko maine define kar diya rs upon s plus lambda 1 x2 s ko define kar diya rs upon let's say x plus lambda 2 and x3 s we have like defined rs upon s plus lambda 3 so it becomes please tell me uh, what is your x1 agar isko idhar le jaye to it becomes x1 dot plus lambda 1 x1 is equals to rt if i'm not wrong is this clear so x1 dot becomes minus of lambda 1 x1 plus r or rt. Okay. In similar way you can write here x2 dot t plus lambda 2 x2 t is equals to rt or you can simply write x2 dot is equals to minus of lambda 2 x2 plus r. Right. Plus rt or r. Ek hi baat hai and x3 dot right plus lambda 3 uh, x3 right equals to r right so x3 dot is equals to minus of lambda 3 x3 plus r okay so please tell me what will be your the uh, x1 dot x2 dot matrix please tell me x1 dot minus lambda 1 0 0 0 0 minus lambda 1 0 minus lambda 1 then 0 0 0 0 0 and in term 0 minus lambda 2 0 0 minus lambda 2 so you can see you can see the form will automatically convert to the diagonal yes or no and or lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 obviously these are the 1 1 1 not Eigen values and 1, 1, 1 is the one, RT. One, one. So, RT. Hai. What is YT now? YT is equals to kya ban gaya beta? K1 X1 plus K2 X2 plus K3 X3. If I am not wrong, you can see here. You can see here. This one is the X1. This one is the X1. This one is the X2. This one is the X3. Right? So, K1 upon K1 into X1, K2 X2, K2 X3. K3 X3 right? So, okay, so simple you can write here k1, k2, k3, okay, x1, x2, x3. These are the cases, okay. So, this is the diagonal canonical form, and I am now writing the note over the diagonal canonical form. It is very, very important. You have to remember this point, okay what we have absorbed from the above uh, matrix first is the the system matrix the system, then i will wrap up the video the system matrix is diagonal 
the system matrix is diagonal with the eigen values am i right with the eigen values okay as the diagonal elements as the diagonal elements and all the other off diagonal you can say elements are please diagonal Zero. elements are bolo being Zero. 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 So this is the first point. Second point is very also important. The elements of the B matrix are. Please tell me. The elements of the input matrix. You can say the one can ask and one anyone can cut the, the elements of input matrix will be the. Will be the. One. This is the A. This one. Is the, the input matrix. Input one 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 one. one. Yes or no? Identity. One one yes. one one. So the input matrix B are all one, right? Third point: the elements of output matrix C are the B. residues of transfer function. The residue क्या है? K one, K two, K three. As it falls, K two, K three, K three. ठीक है? अच्छा, what is the advantage? The what is the advantage of the rep this representation? The advantage of DCF is you can say each state, each state equation is a first order system. Yes or no? First order differential equation. है कि नहीं? इसमें आप देखिए x2 dot s3 dot कुछ नहीं आया. सिंपल एक्स सिंपल है आपका क्वेश्चन एक्स वन डॉट एक्स टू डॉट डॉट यस नो सो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर ओडीई आपको यहां से सिंपल मिल रहा है ओके एंड हेंस यू कैन से हेंस दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी इंडिपेंडेंटली सॉल्व यू हैव सॉल्व इंडिपेंडेंटली यस नो ओके एंड देयर फॉर सिंस इट इज इंडिपेंडेंटली सॉल्व एंड देयर फॉर यू कैन से You can say these equations are said to be decoupled. Remember, decoupled. Why decoupled? You can see from the equation. It is a decoupled. Simple. It is decoupled. ये देखिए ये decoupled है क्योंकि इसमें x2 नहीं है इसमें x1 x3 नहीं है इसमें x2 x1 नहीं है. Okay. And therefore, I am saying that is a decoupled. So decoupled. and the state model is also called as and the state model state model to be in decoupled form decoupled form so i hope it will, you will remember this things and in last in last uh, we have the diagram how to represent this one the signal flow graph so you know s1 1 upon s plus lambda 1 How it will be represent? It will represent what? What is the s one upon s one upon a simple integrator? Yes or no? One upon yes. s is simple integrator, and here the root is there. This is the lambda one. Okay. So if it is the x one, then it it will be it will be the please tell me it will be the x one dot, and the negative feedback is there. Okay. So it can be written as the one upon s plus one, and then it is the k one. In similar way, you can represent the x two dot then integrator, right? And there's a fun feedback with uh, the pole or eigen value lambda two. And in the last, you can you can represent here sorry uh, k two and then uh, there is a last I think minus uh, lambda three okay with the feedback. And x three dot with the one integrator, x three, okay, and then k three is there, and now it's the parallel form. So we have to add all the term, and we will get the y t. So this is all about the diagonal canonical form. So in the next lecture, we will try to cover one example on based on the diagonal canonical form, and then we will start the Jordan. Canonical form. Okay.